my name's Nimra. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, so I thought I'd use my time a bit more wisely now um, and teach some of you guys how to cook. Um, I've been sitting on Instagram too long. I've been watching loads of workout videos and barely doing any. So I thought this would be a good fun opportunity for us to cook. Um, I'm in my parents' kitchen at the moment. Sefi, also known as Sefi Duffy, is behind the camera. So first things first, I'm going to set up and tie my hair. Um, happy birthday, happy birthday. I'm making Tori Kibuja, which is basically stewed courgettes. It's got a very basic onion and tomato masala, which you can then elaborate on depending on the type of dishes that you're making. Um, and this is kind of a core dish. I love making this sabzi. Um, I love making this vegetable dish um, because it's just so easy to prepare. I love courgettes, it can carry so much flavour, they have so much flavour. And um, and it kind of works as a cold mezze as well, like I've kind of served it in a Mediterranean mezze style service with hot or cold, with some bread. Um, and yeah, so I'll talk you through some things. Um, so the basic onion and tomato masala will have some onions, white onions preferably, tomatoes. Um, and then the spice mix would be some chilli. Um, salt and pepper and I've just got some ground salt and pepper I think it's nice and not to have um, coarse the ground pepper because it'll, um, it'll, kind of, it'll be kind of gritty and some haldi um, so I actually wanted to start with a really important concept in Pakistani cooking and that's hard gamaza it's a turn of phrase my mum uses a lot during the cooking um, when she's teaching me and it literally translates as the flavour in your hand um, and what that means is um, cooking to your um, palate, cooking to your understanding of how the flavours are working. Um, and it's like, you know, that idea of like, even if you're pouring the spices in your hand, like a teaspoon, a tablespoon, a dessert spoon, or even the idea of, um, you know, like if you like more chilli or you add less chilli and those sort of things. Um, different chefs, for instance, would maybe, like my mum was like, it's sacrilege to add garlic into this dish. But I've, I've seen people add garlic in the Thori Kipujia. Um, but it extends also to the way that you're cooking the onions, the way that they're going to be tenderizing and um, caramelizing as you're cooking them. And also, um, also uh, I suppose, I mean, that's some sort of my over analysis as well. But like, if you are using your hand to pour the spices, you are touching the food, the enzymes in your hand and how they're reacting with the food. And it's like every person who makes this dish, it will taste slightly different. And that's what hard gamanza is. And I think that's an integral part. I think for all chefs, really but like i think more so for pakistani food because there's a lot of andaza and that means there's a lot of like estimates and like your sort of like sixth sense as a chef and that's really important but yeah so i'm gonna actually slice these onions and we're gonna slice the tomatoes um for Tori, i think it adds a nice sort of texture through it um i think what's been really interesting actually going to chef school is kind of like really reinforcing proper um knife skills I'm going to talk about that in a later episode, so subscribe to my Empress Market channel. Um, but the idea of how like home chefs use a lot more of this, um, the office knife, um, whereas at chef school we're kind of taught to like know how to chop. Um, so if this is your cue to um, go down to the onion, <laughs> know how to chop. Please excuse my relatively amateur hour um, chopping skills. But the idea is a roll and chop, so the knife never leaves the board really. Um, and it kind of cuts them evenly, resting your knuckles against the onion. So I'm going to add just a little bit of oil. Again, hard gummers are, I mean, that's how much oil I'm using. May add a bit more actually, but I guess about two tablespoons. So I'm going to put all the onions in. Again, keep those at the low heat. Um, at the moment, I've turned it on and it's fine because I'm going to take that out a little spouty bit. Um, we don't want to add colour. It's just we just want to soften it up and cook it through. And I'm going to give you this little chef school tip. Turn it down. I'm going to give you a little chef school tip that I had, which is which kind of controls the heat and allows you kind of to do other things while you're caramelising them. And is that is using a cartouche. Um, so what that's going to be, we're going to get some baking parchment. Scrunch it up, open it up, okay. I'm not even joking, you hold it to do this like most of the time. And what it does is it will hold water more. Okay. 
my mum taught me about cartouche um, when she's cooking biryanis, and I just kind of, I'll be honest, I was a bit bratty and I dismissed the concept. Um, and I was like, oh, I don't know what she's talking about. But then they taught me in school, and I was like, oh, okay, she's, you know, there's a bit of a sensible idea. But the idea is you wet it. And what, what you're doing with this technique is you're slowly cooking the onions, um, the steam is being trapped, you're creating more steam with the water, um, and you're really controlling the heat. I am trying to improve my knife skills, honestly, like, um, when you know how to slice things properly, life is so much easier, isn't it? Um, and the safer. Just top and tail this. Okay. So I usually use a mandolin, which is like a slicer at work. Um, when there's a lot, I use my food processor with blade, which is actually quite easy. But for even slices, really, like, I think I love my mandolin. Um, yeah, we're gonna do this. So you just wanna have them even. I'm gonna go back to my onions. I think they should be done. Oh, they're quite a little, but I'm happy with, I'm gonna give it a little bit longer. I have like, you know when I was talking about instinct, my instinct is to go, mama, can you check my onions? But I'm gonna, I'm a bit more confident as a chef. Okay, I'm happy with my onions. I'm gonna put in my tomatoes now. Oh, I might turn it up a bit. And then, yeah, like, but the bunlo is like, cook it really down, really, really reduce it. I'm gonna add the spices now. So I'm gonna start with the haldi. Um, you don't want to go too far with this. I'm going to do that. Don't add too much. I mean, this is me guesstimating. There's half a teaspoon of that. I do. Oh, I have a spoon. Um, again, probably about a teaspoon. Things like... Oh, let's do that. Um, things like um, courgette and aubergine they really take on and the, the spice really stands out in it um so just need to be careful and at the moment i'm just going to put a teaspoon of salt um you can always adjust that later i mean this is some real you know what is this doing anyway. so i'm going to now really i'm going to temper the spices cook them through so I'm gonna put the courgettes in. So what now is what's gonna happen. You see, it's like, I'm in the pot almost, I think every time I cook, actually, I have this sort of feeling, I'm like, oh my God, I didn't get to use enough, big enough pan, which I probably haven't actually. I'm just gonna pack this in. Ooh. Um, it's gonna really, really reduce as it cooks through, and it's just gonna cook in its own steam. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. It's in its own steam. So, as you can see, look how much it's reduced. I mean, the courgettes, they release so much water. Um, and they'll go down even more. Bohodza da bono. Bono it a lot. Like, that basically means, like, evaporate as much as the water. Like, cook it through more and more. My, I was just asking my mum for some little top tips from Selma. And she was saying um that some people do like it a bit wet she likes it drier we do in this household like it a bit drier um so yeah cooking some more so yeah um this is a tori ki bujia. it's a lovely homey um pakistani sabzi i'm gonna turn this off um and yet we traditionally have it with roti but today we're having it with some leftover kedri which is a rice and lentil dish um, I made earlier. I'm just being a bit more efficient with COVID-19 and lockdown. Um, and I hope you make it. Like and subscribe the Empress Market YouTube channel um, and share this video. Um, and please kind of, you know, please share your, your pictures and um, experiences cooking Dori Ki Bhujia. Um, and I'll also sign up to my newsletter on my website where there will be more um, details about how to cook this dish, all the handy tips um, about making it and yeah.